everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Skype uh, mobile number spammer. Now this isn't just like calling a contact kind of spammer which I've shown in the past. This is how to actually spam like legit real mobile numbers. You can see here's a little example which I did just before I started the video, just so I could show you what it does. So it will call something um, until you stop it basically. Now I just called a free phone number, uh, but if you want to call like let's say your friend you would need to add Skype credit onto your like profile because this is like a real phone um, so that's how we're gonna go and do a call spammer now I'm gonna put it with the Skype tool just because it comes under Skype and stuff because um, we're gonna be using the API a little bit and what I'm gonna do is just create a new tab so we've got someone new to work with uh, and we don't really need much, so we're going to have one button there to start the calling, and we'll have another button to stop the calling, and then we're going to have, uh, let's say, a label to display how many calls we're currently on. We'll have a text box to put the number you want to call in, and we'll also have another one to write how many times you want to call. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just rename this to start and then I'll rename this one to stop just like that and then I'm gonna just realign these two uh, call this label total calls just like that and I'll create a new label which will just be zero by default just like that now uh, what we want to do first off is uh, go to Skype because we're not actually going to be using like um, a call-in part within the API we're going to be using like send key so it's like a simulating a real person doing the stuff but we're going to be using the buttons um, so what you want to do is come to tools and options and go to advanced and then go down to hotkeys and you'll see that I've got hang up enabled so you wanna make it active and I've set mine to alt and F11 um, that's the one which I'll be using in the video if you wanna follow along but you can set this hotkey to anything uh, if I'm not wrong it has to be alt or something just select alt and use F11 or something like that I'd, I'd uh, recommend using alt and F11 um, as it's not really used so before that before we start go ahead and do that um, just because we're going to be simulating the send keys to that button to end the call so what we want to do is obviously go ahead and start and the first thing we want to do actually is create two things one will be a, a boolean called is ringing uh, is ringing as boolean is equal to false by default and we'll also have another one called dim call count um, as an integer and by default that will be equal to zero and um, the reason I'm creating the boolean is because we're, we've got a stop button so um, when it's to false we'll stop it and when it's true obviously carry on pretty simple so when we click the start button the first thing we want to do is set is ringing to true obviously and then we're going to have a for loop and now that is because um, we want to do it more than one time we, we just want to press start and let it do it the amount of times that you entered in the text box. So we'll say for, we'll call it calls as an integer um, is equal to zero, two, and because the text box is a string and it needs to be an integer, we'll use convert um, dot two in thirty two, and we're going to convert. Let's say this will be the number. This will be the the amount. So text box fifty one dot text. And remember, we're only converting it because we're working with integers here, and it's a string. So we have it as a for loop. Now, it's going to go from zero to the amount that you entered. Um, so it will do it once. Whatever's in here, it will do it once, twice, until it stops. Um, all we can have is we can exit the for loop now. So we can say if is ringing is equal to false, then exit. 
So basically this is going to be our stop button. So uh, well, in the stop button it's really simple. Is ringing is going to be equal to false. So now let's say this for loop is in action. Um, if we press the stop button is ringing is now false. So it checks if it's false then it's just going to exit and not stop. So it's fairly simple. Um, so inside here now what we want to do is go ahead and start the call. So this is where the API comes in for its minimal use. We're just going to say skype.client.open dialpad tab and that's just to open the dialer and you'll see what that is in a second. And we're going to use skype.client.focus uh, because we are going to be writing the number into the dialer. Um, so I could go ahead and show you that what that does now uh, real quick just for an example obviously it's not going to call it's just going to open the dialer and stuff um, for some reason this takes so long so we'll go to over to our new tab and I'll press start we got an error oh because oh yeah obviously we didn't even input a um, a number in our text box. Uh, anyway, forget that. I'll we'll just go ahead and show it in a bit. So the next thing we want to do is send keys. Dot send, and whatever we want to send um, first is we're going to obviously be pasting the number into the dial pad. And to to do that, we can say plus, and we can use this little up arrow, and then in brackets we can use a capital F, and just leave a space here because we're going to add the number on plus text box I believe it's going to be 50 dot text let's just go ahead and double check yeah there it is and um, so what that does is going to paste it's going to paste the number in so if we didn't leave this space there um, it would mess everything up so make sure the space is there after the end bracket and then add your number on now below that we're going to use send keys again dot send now I suppose we could just add this on the end of this line but just for the sake of everything we'll put it on its own line in curly brackets we're going to just enter in capitals now what that's going to do is enter number and press enter so if I were to press enter myself my keyboard it would start the call so that's essentially what this is doing it's going to um, start the call for us uh, now we're going to have a little pause in place for how long we want to let the call go on for before we decline it um, so what we're going to do instead of using the usual system .sleep, we're going to put this sub um, we're going to use async uh, just because we can use uh, what have I done spelt that wrong there just like that and we can use something called await and it doesn't freeze up your thread or anything like that you'll see I, I, personally I like it much more now I'll start to use it a little bit so we're going to use await uh, task dot delay and this is where basically from when the call starts from and then until we're going to decline it and start again now in here I'm just going to go with 10 seconds but again this is all up to preference this is where your choice really comes in you'll get an idea of how this works when you start calling numbers and how quick it calls and hangs up and stuff 10 seconds that should be good enough so then after we've done that waited the 10 seconds we're going to use send keys dot send and then we're going to send our little short um, hot key which was f11 and out to end the call so to do that we can use um, the percentage sign and then in curly brackets capital F11 just like that so that's alt and f11 it will end our call for us and then after the calls ended we're going to have another await um, just so nothing gets overloaded task.delay and we'll just do a short delay of let's say one and a half seconds and after we've done that of course the next thing we want to do is take our call um, count is going to be plus equal to one we're just going to add on to it and then of course the label which is displaying the count is number 25 so we'll just go ahead and say label 25.text is going to be equal to um, convert this time we're going to convert the integer, the call count integer, to a string, and then uh, we're going to convert call count to the string to display onto our label, and that should be it to go. 
Um, so what we're going to do is launch it up now and give this a test. And what I've got in my browser is just a list of free phone numbers from the UK. Just so I can show you what this does, we'll just go ahead and call, let's say, NTL. So we'll copy the number, go to our new tab, we put the number in here, that you want to call, and you can put in the amount of times you want to call. So I'll just put in a 5 here, and we'll press start. And there you see it in action, it's type the number in, called, currently in the call. I'm not sure if you could hear that so I didn't speak, but it waited five seconds, hung up, it's called in again. Here we are. You can see total calls is on uh, two, and I interrupted it. So you can see because I interrupted it, uh, it's actually stopped working. So you just sort of got to leave it to do its thing. And there you are, you can see it's calling. If I press stop, uh, once this call stopped, it won't ring again. And you see I stopped it one call early, and it's total calls to four. So if we press stop, we should probably reset the call count to zero, or press, or when it's pressed start, we reset it, anything like that. But you get the idea, um, just don't interrupt it when it's doing its thing. Uh, I actually made something like this a little bit more advanced though for somebody. Um, and what they did was uh, have like a list box uh, containing like loads of numbers and then uh, it was like a, a routine is it, it would call the first one and hang up, call the second one hang up and so on so that's also an idea which you can keep in mind but here's like a basic call spammer sort of thing um, one thing I could show you is if you can you can say me dot topmost is equal to true so what that will do is um, it will leave the the program the actual our program like above everything while the calls in pro uh, while the process is going on so you don't have to keep clicking it down in the tray uh, and that way you're not interrupting its workflow so we'll try it again so I can show you now it's like that so we'll paste the number in I'll just call it two times and I'll press start. And you can see now this little program's on top all the time. I'm not sure if you can hear that woman speaking. Um, but I'm sorry if you can. So this is the second call. And now there we have it. There's the little program. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It's something a little bit different. It's not really uh, sort of Skype tool related, but I guess it's using Skype. Uh, it's also really good. Um, I mean, if you got Skype credit and you want to annoy a friend or something, uh, it's really good. But I would suggest if you're calling a friend and they don't like hanging up straight away or picking up straight away, I'd increase this time to about 20 seconds. So that way it will... It will ring for a little bit longer before it hangs up, therefore ringing their phone for longer to annoy them, and also actually registering that you are ringing them. Because you've got to let it go on for a couple of seconds once the call started. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the basic actual mobile phone number spammer using Skype. So hope you liked the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.